Hey guys, um, I wanted to do a backup tutorial in case you don't have acrylic paints or you wanted to try to get a more vibrant print and that would just be with markers. So again, we're doing just like a black today and then we're gonna do color. So you will take markers and you can color them across your foam plate. My plate has um, some paint on it because of my first attempt of printmaking. So I'm going across my plate with a marker and you really gotta color the whole thing. Thin markers are not the best unless you're trying to get details, but like I said, I'm only doing a black and white print today and then I'll be doing color. So you can do individual colors and details tomorrow if you'd like. This is kind of like our marker test print that we did, but this time you wanna make sure you get it really solid. I am trying to move quickly because the longer I take, the more this will dry. So I'm going quickly, and if the bell rings, I'm so sorry. Because we're in between classes, and I'm trying to film these really quickly. But like I said, I just go across with my marker and really fill up my plate, try to get everywhere where my design is with the marker. And now before you place it down, you have to wet your paper. You can use spray. I'm going to use a paintbrush, and I'm just going to... There's a little paint on my paintbrush, but that's okay. I'm going to make some wet area where I want to lay my print. And I'm making it just glossy enough to press my print down. Oh, it's not big enough. I'm going to come over here. Make sure it's damp. If it's too damp, your print will run. So I'm going to smooth out some of this. The problem with mine, I had a little bit of paint on my brush, so it's gonna come up on my print. But then I'm going to take it and press it down. And this is where I'm gonna do the paper massage. Really trying to work my print in. Get all the corners, press where you have writing. Don't break your plate though. Don't be that uh, intense with the paper massage. And then, once you've pressed it, you should be able to peel it and you should have some kind of print. Now mine, I need a little more ink there, but the marker is another successful way and you can get some pretty solid ones. So you guys are welcome to try with marker and just really get some solid prints. We're doing black and white today. Tomorrow we're doing color where you will be able to color like different sections. Once you finish a print, I would get a wet paper towel and just kind of wipe it off. But markers are a great alternative for ink and paint and you do get a little more successful of a print. So if you want to try that, you are welcome to do that. 